Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you by the Noblesville Times Online in living color from the Times Studio. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Thursday, June 2nd, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free 24 hours a day. In our top story today, Wednesday marked the end of an era for Noblesville schools. For the 50th and final time, students exited the doors of the district's oldest elementary school at 470 Lakeview Drive as summer vacation began. Students, parents, and staff members have known about the fate of Forest Hill Elementary School since the beginning of the school year, and this year's motto was, Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened, by Dr. Seuss. But the sight of boxes and piles of equipment in the hallways reminded all that this was not a temporary break. This was an ending. In other news, downtown Noblesville will be transformed into a mini festival on Friday evening as the historic courthouse grounds will be full of art, games, food, music, and loads of community members. Several organizations will come together as they partner to make downtown Noblesville the IT location Friday night. Noblesville Main Street Executive Director Joe Arrowwood said that the event will include June's Art in the Air first Friday event, the premiere of the 2011 Jazz on the Square season, and Hamilton County Artist Association's Nickel Plate Art Weekend. After several successful seasons, the Westfield Farmer's Market has moved location and is ready to start selling starting Friday evening with the market's kickoff. This year, the market's fourth. They will be next to City Hall, 130 Penn Street in Westfield on North Union Street, and it's around double the size of previous years. The fun starts at 4.30 and continues on until 7.30 p.m. with the opening evening, a kids and family night. They're going to be featuring a bounce house, clowns, balloons, face painting, and more. In other news, the Fishers Police are searching for two suspects wanted for the armed robbery of a local restaurant Tuesday evening. They got a call at approximately 10 p.m. Tuesday that an employee at the Arby's restaurant located at 7670 East 96th Street said that two suspects walked into the restaurant and robbed them at gunpoint. At this time, the suspects remain at large. The Fishers Police Department is asking anyone with information regarding this armed robbery to call Detective Trent Skaggs at 595-3300. The Community Bank was recognized as a five-star member of the Indiana Bankers Association at the IBA Mega Conference on May 24th in downtown Indianapolis. The bank earned its award in recognition of its commitment to the IBA in the areas of political awareness, issue advocacy, lifelong learning, volunteerism, and preferred service provider utilization. The IBA, established in 1897, provides legislative services, communication tools, professional development opportunities, and products and services to the Indiana banking community. Stay tuned for weather with Paul Poteet and local sports are both coming up next. Is that thing getting closer? Look how high that thing's going. Look out there, look at the debris. Oh. Uh, give me the camera. No, no, just drive, I've got it. Zoom in, zoom in. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, oh, the size of that thing. It's everywhere. Are you getting this? Yeah, I've got it. What was that? the National Guard. How'd they get here so fast? I don't know. Pull over. Pull over. Do you have what it takes to head into the heart of the storm? Check out NationalGuard.com. Hey, it's Indiana's weatherman, meteorologist Paul Poteet here, reporting from spacious Studio B on what looks to be a pretty nice Thursday across central Indiana. Boy, it'll be hard to top Wednesday, huh? We had uh, temperatures yesterday. What did we get to? We were into the mid-80s yesterday. We won't even be that warm today. The average high would be right at 79, so we're a little above uh, normal for today. Let's look at it. First of all, uh, with the forecast overall and kind of the weather picture as we move into the day, 
Uh, there you can see the, the story that we're dry. We're not as warm as we were yesterday. 78, in fact, for the high today in Kokomo. Right about 80 degrees in Muncie. 82 in Lafayette. I think we'll be around 82 here. 82 in Indy. And then mid-80s down in Louisville and Evansville. And the humidity not really a factor for us today. High pressure is controlling the weather. In fact, we'll take a broader view and show you the weather map and that high centered over uh, Lake Michigan and then also Michigan. Flow of the air around that today should be out of the east, only about 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles an hour as we make our way into the afternoon. A couple of areas where they could have rough weather today, a couple of severe storms are possible down in Georgia, in the northern part of Georgia, and then also into western South Carolina. There may also be some severe storms associated with our next weather maker out to the west, and that would fire today around Iowa, Minnesota, back into the Dakotas. And indeed, we've seen in some places uh, already today big storms out to the west. They should stay to the west today, but eventually the cold front component of that system will get here with shower and thunderstorm chances that are now in the forecast for us Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Attention June brides and grooms. I had somebody ask me online about that already today. I'm in a wedding this weekend. Well, it's definitely going to be muggy for that Saturday wedding. Here's a look at some of the highlights for the next couple of days, especially from Indianapolis southward. Uh, we'll see those temperatures jump tomorrow up to about 89 to, in some cases, down by the Ohio River into the low 90s already on Friday. So it'll be hotter tomorrow. I think the bulk of the humidity will hold off until we get into the late afternoon and evening hours. And then definitely sticky on Saturday, hot and humid into the low 90s, then just to the south of us. I think we'll be right around 90 degrees on Saturday. And then Sunday, not as hot, not as humid, and we'll lose the uh, storm chance too. You can see the shower and thunderstorm chance right here in the extended forecast as we check it via paulpotite.com. First of all, for today, beautiful. For the second day of June, if we keep having days like this, we'll just have to keep on with this month, I guess. 82 for Thursday's high. And Thursday night's low, 61. Friday, a high of 88 degrees. And Saturday, up to about uh, 90. And again, that chance of storms in the afternoon and evening on Saturday. And then uh, less humid on Sunday, 83 degrees. Then 85, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And fairly quiet weather through there. We just have to kind of watch for Saturday over the next few days. That's our forecast, and it's sponsored by our friends at Goddard School of Noblesville. 2291 Greenfield Avenue, the Goddard School there at 770-7225. Uh, they taught me those numbers at the Goddard School. That's how good they are. And they are so good, they've been twice voted the number one preschool and number one daycare in Hamilton County. The 2010 and the 2011 Times Reader's Choice poll. Thank you, Goddard Schools of Noblesville, and thank you for watching. If you need anything else throughout the day... Just want some Indiana weather information or a general good time? I hope you'll visit me online at paulpotite.com. And keep it right here for the latest Hamilton County local news, sports, and my weather right on Times News 24-7. Each week, Terry Ditzler and Connie Thompson take a look at current events ranging from local to worldwide, from touchdowns to teenagers, tornadoes to tsunamis, and ask the question, where is God in all of this? Connie is the pastor and Terry is the intern pastor of New Joy Lutheran Church, located at 316 West 156th Street in Westfield. You can email them at joy at the times 24-7.com. The journey begins only in the Times. The Carmel Boys golf team won a close match with Lawrence Central and Warren Central Wednesday night at Winding Ridge Golf Club. The Greyhounds and Lawrence Central were tied at 158 after the meet, and Carmel won on the fifth man score. Fishnets and bruises are what the well-dressed will be wearing at the Circle City Derby Girls have their June 11th Roller Derby doubleheader. During this fashion-themed bout at the Forum at Fishers at 9022 East 126th Street, the Derby Girls A team, the Socialites, will take on the Des Moines Derby Dames. And the B team, the Party Crashers, will face the Dire Skates of Richmond, Indiana. The clash between the Party Crashers and the Dire Skates begins at 6 p.m. Then the Socialites will rumble against the Derby Dames to rule the runway, starting at 7.45 p.m. For ticket information, see our sports section online and in our print edition today. 
And this weekend, look for Hamilton County athletes to play a big part in the competition when the IHSAA girls track and field meet is held Friday at Indiana University. With, a with athletes competing from Carmel Fishers, Hamilton Heights, Hamilton Southeastern, and Noblesville, there is at least one Hamilton County contestant in each event. Today's news has been brought to you in part by the National Guard. In the National Guard, you serve your country as a soldier and you serve the people of your community. In the aftermath of a natural disaster, you bring food, supplies, medical aid, and most importantly, you bring hope. This is the moment to change your life and perhaps someone else's. Visit NationalGuard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. Well, that's your local news for Thursday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the Noblesville Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.